July 22nd. Tomorrow, the MLB season starts, and Friday, the Philly season starts. So we're two days away from Phillies baseball and one day away from baseball. Next two days are total positive. But we have to talk about what happened yesterday, so let's go. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Philly Sports Sports. This is your channel if you, want to, if you want to learn about Philadelphia sports, what happened, Philadelphia sports the past day. This is a recap for what happened July 21st on July 22nd. We're talking about the Phillies. They have six things. Eagles and Flyers both have one. I'm going to do a whole on Phillies clip and then the final two and then right after the Phillies will uh, be Eagles and Flyers both at one club because they only have two things. So, yeah, let's get started. Joe Girardi was asked yesterday if Reese Hoskins is, if Reese Hoskins is back to his old batting stance after lowering his hands this spring. Joe Girardi said he toyed with it. He tried it. Uh, he just felt more comfortable putting his hands up here. Uh, he went back to where he was. We like where he is at. Reese Hoskins on Diddy Gregorius wearing a mask with his pre-existing kidney disease. I think it's our duty as teammates to respect that uh, and also to do the same thing as a team. We've mandated, uh, we've mandated unless uh, you're on the field and outside, you should be wearing a mask at all time. Reese Hoskins on the Phillies' chances of obviously winning the World Series, even making the playoffs. We have a lot. We have a we have a little bit of a chip on our shoulder. Uh, we like we feel like we are being a little bit overlooked for how much talent we have. It's been a while since we've been in the playoffs. I know we're looking forward to ending that drought. Phillies actually have seven things. Just forgot to mark something. Uh, Phillies prospect Logan O'Hope got to live out a childhood dream. Yesterday, uh, two days ago, actually, he couldn't stop smiling. Two nights ago, uh, grew, he grew up as a big Yankees fan, going to games at Yankee Stadium, and he got to play at Yankee Stadium. Uh, it's mind blowing. It's pretty crazy to see where life can take you. Yeah, Phillies infielder Josh Harrison requested that he wanted to be released, and he was granted a release. Which I'm so surprised that he wanted to be released. I thought he would want to stay here. And I guess he just requested. So that kind of blew my mind a little bit. That was kind of strange for me. Uh, how about you guys? Um, Phillies have transferred right in pitchers Spencer Howard, Mauricio Lilovira, sorry if I said that wrong, Addison Russ, and catcher Logan Ohope. To Lehigh Valley, Joe Girardi, after the scrimmage uh, last night, said Phil Gosselin is really making a push to make the team, and it has not gone unnoticed. Joe says teammates are calling Phil barrels. As yesterday in, in last night's inter-squad game, uh, Phil Gosselin went three for three. So, yeah. All right, Eagles and Flyers time. All right, Eagles. Eagles rookies reported yesterday for covert coronavirus testing, they need to pass two tests and quarantine to get access to the Novacare complex. Uh, could be a five-day process. Eagles quarterbacks report Thursday. Full team reports next week. Flyers. Carter Hart had some minor back uh, spasms and it locked up a little during the skate yesterday. Nothing major or corona or COVID-related. I, I would think he'd be back. On the ice in at least a day or two. Um, nothing, nothing bad. Uh, just a little bit. He's just a little tight in the back. It's okay. He'll be fine. Outro. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like if you like it. Subscribe if you love it. Share if you want more people to know what's going on in Philadelphia sports. Comment down below. What you thought about today's news? I feel like I'm snapping a lot in today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna snap away.